Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We are out on the launch pad with our Jupiter Probe 2, the improved version. I've already taken the liberty of uh, getting our relative inclination to the moon down to something a little bit more respectable. And so now that this improved variant on this mission with fuel tanks of appropriate pressure and struts galore is loaded up and ready to go, we're going to go ahead and get it rolling. Ignition sequence start. And let go of them clamps, and we're off. And since we reduced our fuel in these boosters to something that these engines can actually handle, we have avionics from the word go. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. So again, um, I'm going to speed this up in post, provided of course that not everything goes absolutely sideways like last time. <laughs> so I... Here's hoping, right? Fingers crossed. Can we get a smooth launch this time? Could something, something go relatively right for the space program? I guess I just, I'm just not skilled enough. All right, but starting our turn, there's a little bit of wiggle, but it's certainly more manageable than last time, I think, or not. Oh God, okay. Yeah, no, certainly much more manageable could probably benefit from more struts. And I'm letting myself get away from... Okay. Anyway, back to time warp. I'll see you guys in orbit. Nope. Everything has gone absolutely wonkies again. I had to turn off SAS to kill the wiggle. It's not cooperating hardly at all. Oh come on. No 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 No. Oh, our fairing step was way too low. I didn't catch that. All right, we got SAS back on now since the wiggles will be significantly decreased. I cannot believe I fairing stepped so early. Uh Try to adjust this inclination while we still can. All right, 181 by 169, that's relatively circular. And uh, let's take a quick look here at the Delta V. Uh, 3815 left in our uh, hydrolock stage. That will be decreasing. Uh, even though we switched those out to cryogenic last time, they will still be experiencing a little bit of boil off. All right, Jupiter is set as our target. I accidentally brought up KSpedia. Uh, maneuver planner, that's what I'm looking for, and go away KSPDO. Chop selection, lowest delta V, any time now, 6.68 kilometers per second. Plot the node. Alright, that's not 
bad, but it's not quite what we're looking for. How long is it until one minute? God damn it. All right, we're just going to have to jump in and do it. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to plot it for next orbit. How do we... And I'm not going to rush into these things like I did last time. So, plus one more orbit. All right, that gives us an hour to tinker with things. Make sure we still get a hit. We do. But uh, we're coming in on the wrong side of Jupiter. You see, that's going to fling us out even further. So we're going to switch our focus view in here and bring up our maneuver node editor and try to get us to come in on the other side so that we'll fling us back around closer to Earth. Uh, mech Jeb. What was it? Uh, maneuver node editor. I can just keep clicking this on the radio. Oh, that cost us another encounter, but it's totally not worth not getting any of the data back. All right, now we do have a periapsis on the far side of Jupiter. And that's going to be one hell of a gravity assist. I can't wait to see how that affects our uh, total delta V, although we won't know for a little while. Oh wait, can I hit Conix mode 4 and see what that does? Nope. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, we won't be able to do any other flyby. Since we'll be out of contact, all of our instrumentation will be full of science from having flown into Jupiter's sphere of influence. And then flying right back out. All right, we can get rid of that now and toggle map and take a quick save because reasons. We'll get ourselves pointed at the snow. How's our boil off doing? Yeah, it's doing its thing. All right, so now we're going to warp around to our maneuver node. Oh man, are we going to have connection when we get there? Let me get backspace. That's the best damn shortcut ever. Um, shit. Maybe, maybe we'll have connection through that one. <clears throat> we can only hope. Okay, good. Burn is 12 minutes. Oh yeah, we're going to have connection. That's... Thank goodness. Oh, I already overshot. Damn it. Ullage. Stable. Fire them up. Alright, and this is probably going to shape up to be a kind of a long burn, so expect to uh, have it fast forwarded. I will see you guys once there's something a little more interesting to talk about. That's that little bit of the stage. We're going to go ahead and unlock these tanks. Uh, switch to staging mode. Stage. Bump ourselves away. After having slid through that fairing. Very stable. Stage in that AJ-10 and we're off. 3,400 meters per second to go out of 4,200 available. Oh. Well, all right then. Looks like we might be dragging this little guy all the way to Jupiter. Which doesn't do us a whole hell of a lot of good. But, uh, it does mean that maybe we can make correction burns on the outside. Uh, or coming back. Without having to really detach our probe. Although it makes me feel a little silly, like all of this was completely useless weight and we could have just launched this and saved ourselves, uh, you know, like 0.3 of a ton. 
Although really, flying just this little guy is way more, I don't know, true to the theme of things. And maybe we'll re-angle this to uh, maybe get an encounter someplace else or fly even closer. I don't know, neither one of them are going to have contact when they're out there. Like I said, that's why I adjusted that node the way I did, just to fling it back uh, closer to Earth so that we can collect all of the data that it will pick up when it's out there because it will be way the hell on out of range. Although, if we leave them attached, we have more solar powers. We can shut down the avionics in this little guy. Of course, that'll be shut down anyway. We won't have much of a draw. These solar panels are going to be quite useless all the way out there. But we can turn off... Really, both of these antennas and save all of that power. Okay, this is looking interesting and getting a little bit better the whole time. So I think we will leave it uh, all connected. Is this the one that's active vessel? Yeah. Go ahead and turn that off now. All right, just finishing out the burn here on the RCS thrusters. Wasn't a whole lot left to do, but it is kind of turning into node wrangling. Alright, that should be it. Let's see where this gets us. Oh, we do have an encounter. Are we coming in? Hey not really the encounter we are looking for. Backspace. So let's see how we can maybe improve this a bit. So add maneuver, let's bring up the Mechie Jib and uh, where is it? Maneuver Maneuver node editor. There we go. Derp, derp. Focus. Coming to the right side, but I'd like to get a lot closer, so... Nope. Wow. So it looks like just being late on this burn helped or hurt a whole lot. That doesn't seem to do much. Also doesn't do much. I wonder why that doesn't really... Alright, let's shift these in groups of ten. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, that's way off from where we were. Alright, again, let's shift these in groups of ten and see if we can't keep this somewhat equatorial-ish. I think that's about the best we're going to do. And then bring it on home. That looks much better. We'll take that. So it takes us inside IO. It's only 500 meters per second, and in the next 10 seconds, geez. So maybe we'll be ditching this stage after all. Ugh, we need to be in rotation mode. Dang it. Plus seven. Right. Thankfully that's going very quickly. Hmm. 
Uh, a little sooner than I would have liked. But we're already 30 seconds past the node. How much do we have left? Man, next to nothing. Eek. Alright. Uh, totally gonna run this stage out of fuel, aren't we? Whatever. <laughs> it's fine with me, really. All right, where does that put us? Yes, look at that. That is a thing of beauty. I will take that any day of the week. That is our uh, only workable Jupiter probe. Thank goodness it worked. So. It's still got a little fuel in it. I'm going to go ahead and leave them connected for now. I think it stands a better chance uh, like this. Because it really seemed like that shouldn't... Should create an offset center of mass. But I have no real way of checking, really. So, we're just going to run with it. And that's going to do it for today's episode, everybody. Uh, this is going to be a mission several years in the making. But I'm super excited to see how it comes out. And I hope you guys are too. So uh, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I will see you tomorrow.